In terms of the favorite players and the players that we've enjoyed seeing over time, I'll probably start with Mario. But for me, Figo was one of the OGs for me. Like when he came to Inter and said that it was about footballing happiness that he was coming over here, that's the reason I got two of his jerseys, man. So Figo for me and Dude, I don't care what anybody says. I don't care about his attitude and what he says these days. For me, a prime Ibrahimovic is probably better than 99% of strikers and forwards in their prime. I truly believe we got not only him at his at his best, but we got a sweet-ass deal for it as well. He came off the back of scoring 16 goals for Juve, for God's sake, and then we just nipped him up, and he killed it. I wish our fans appreciated him a little bit more, but at the end of the day, everything happens for a reason, right? We let him go. He bombs the Champions League. We win the Champions League, and so on. So for me, I think Ibrahimovic is obviously, he represents, he represents those Scudettos. The Scudettos won under Mancini, where, you know, we dominated so well. For me, Hernan Crespo will always grow down as one of my favorite strikers of all time. The sheer joy on his face when he would ever score goals is absolutely incredible. Um, and other than that, I guess Christian Bobo Vieri will always be one of my favorite players of all time for the sheer fact that he grew up in Western Sydney and knew my dad as a kid. So, Mario, what about you? And, of course, Ronaldo. Can't, can't forget Ronaldo, Ronaldo Nazario as well. What about you, bro? Of course, it's phenomenal. Uh, it's phenomenal. First, first and foremost. Second and foremost, Quaresma. Don't forget Quaresma. Uh, after that, it it gets a little bit earlier. You go back to like when Stankovic first came over. Stankovic packaged with Mihailovic. Yeah. Those two might be some two of my favorites, aside from Ronaldo, because I love them watching. I love watching them at, at Lazio. Because at the time, I was big on Lazio. They just won their Scudetto. I loved watching that team play. One of my all-time favorite teams. Um, but that's, that's another story. Um, after those two, um, I never really loved Zanetti just as much as everybody else. You know, you love him, but not favorite of all time because I think this played out. That's just me, mm. though. Uh, otherwise, um, Oh my God, I'm just I just drew a blank. Ibrahimovic was 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 key, um, and I'm missing like fucking ten other people. We got some really Schneider. good players in those years of transfers. Schneider is another good one as yeah. well. Like I remember even just getting Patrick Vieira on the cheap for two seasons. Him coming off the bench, like he was sensational. Like you yeah. get Patrick Vieira still with so much to give, and you only give him a small bracket of time to do it. He was, like, giving us 100% effort in short amounts of time. That's why we were closing out games in, like, a colossal, like, fashion. We had he players. Was a leader. Had, with that, was that players team that we had. Status. Yeah. That team we had was just full of leaders. You had Ibrahimovic. You had Vieira. You had Figo. You had freaking Zanetti. 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 You had everybody. Yeah. That whole 11 was just packed. And yeah. That was a winning team. That's why – that's basically what set up everything else after that. Uh, and then yeah. another one that I just thought of, um, oh my, oh, Grosso. Of course, I can't forget Grosso. Grosso. Because of his Palermo connection, right? Of course, of course. Can, first and foremost. What, a, what an 18 months for Grosso. Does fuck all his whole career, touches the stars, goes back to Inter. Everyone realizes he's mediocre as hell, moves on. <laughs> and that's all. Uh, I didn't say mediocre as so, uh, hell. Rivas, um, where, what about you? Bro? Moving on to your favorite players of all time. So, you guys hit a bunch of them, but I'm about to hit some that I really, really love. Bam Bam Zamorano, bro. Like, yeah. go. Jurkev, loved Jurkev. Freaking, uh, yep. again, you said Christian Vieri. Uh, Recoba, I love Chinito, dude. Chinito was freaking nice. I mean, again, just Walter go through Sandro. every South American there is. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but you got to look at the Migo connection, bro. Like, straight up. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, ah. How about the Honduran Catracho that played for Inter? <laughs> yeah, y'all disappoint me with your name. Oh, you know another one? Underrated? Emre. Emre. I would say Esteban Cambiaso flies under the radar of many, many yes, people's yes. opinions. But he's, he's literally the most the best box-to-box -box midfielder I've ever seen at holding it down. He finds the perfect middle ground between defense and attack. Mm -hmm. Uh, Viva El Cucho for life. Yo, anyway, if you guys never let me finish about my Honduran brother. Sorry, go ahead. You guys don't know who it is yet? Um, Suazo. 
the man right there, Mario. I loved him. I Yo, loved listen, him. listen, listen. I might be Salvadorian and Guatemalan, but Swazo Central American, bro. Like he's a real one. At the end of the day, that's I, one of us. You know, I'm Central I, American. That's it, man. 